I'm in this weird position because um, because I'm going to be showing you how I tape my loose canvas onto masonite board. So, and I didn't want to take too long to change the camera. So I thought, it'd... so I have recently started to use loose canvas. So loose canvas is basically just that. It's canvas. You might be able to see it. Just regular canvas, cotton canvas, though it you can buy it with a linen too. And it's gessoed. So it's got the jet pre uh, gesso on it, which gesso is basically a primer. And a primer is kind of like a glue. Uh, you put the glue on first, then you put the paint on. So um, the reason I like uh, using the canvas unstretched is because you paint on a hard surface. Um, here's, here's a stretched canvas and one of my earlier <laughs> earliest paintings. I want to save that for later. But it's kind of spongy, right? It's springy. Not spongy, springy. Which some people like. But I like painting on um, the hard can uh, on the hard surface. Uh, here's a painting. Is this the right side? Yeah. So here's a painting that I did. It's pretty dry now, and um, you just need to peel the tape off, which is always really fun. Peeling the tape off and getting that nice, clean, sharp edge. And then you can either stretch it onto um, a wood in, onto the wood stretcher frames, but I like to now glue these onto cradled wood panels. That's what I do now. It um, I love the look of the unframed art, even though I do like framed art. My um, the frames that I like are really ornate and end up being four times more expensive than the artwork, and that just breaks my heart. So um, I like the unframed look now. And also you can um, cut the canvas any shape you want, which is a bonus, and it's also cheaper. So if you have a tendency towards anxiety, like I do, um, when, if you buy like a super expensive uh, primo um, canvas, it can, you know, bring your anxiety up and, and, you know, you're just not as loose and creative or having as much fun. So I like to bring my anxiety way low by painting on a uh, loose canvas. So this one's uh, cut out to be 16 by 20. And what I tape it onto is masonite. Masonite is, I think, made out of, um, I don't know, um, chips and stuff like that. It's pretty cheap. You can buy it at um, the Home Depot and cut it yourself, or you can get it at um, curries.com or any art supply store will have it. People even paint on this. I haven't painted on this yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I prefer, I, I just think that, you know, like MDF, uh, people were painting on MDF, but now they're saying not to paint on MDF because it's made of sawdust and stuff uh, held together with glue. And um, over time, if it gets wet, it will disintegrate. So it's not the strongest um, um, thing to paint on for longevity. Um, but if you were going to paint on it, you would just paint on it like you do wood. You would seal it first, then prime it and then go. But if you're going to be using your canvas, all you got to do is take it on. And you just can use regular regular masking tape. If you're going to be stretching it, you know, very strong, you might want to use the strongest masking tape you can get. And don't use the green stuff because the green color will trick your eye into thinking it's in the painting. And then you'll incorporate it. And then when you take your tape off, you're like, hey, where's my green? I liked that punch of green. So this is just regular masking tape. And you start at a corner. I've got it outlined how far to go. So start at a corner. Then go to the opposite corner. And 
Oh boy. <laughs> so, oh jeez, I'm coming to the end of the roll, so it's getting weird. All right, you want to stretch it to get as many of the repos out as possible. And then you're gonna go to the other side. This is 16 by 20, but I do do them for the, the little sizes too. And if I if I don't like my painting, meh, it, it's not that expensive. Now to buy a roll of canvas, that is a little bit of investment. So they're not cheap. So don't don't buy your go buy in your roll of canvas until you know that you love art and you're gonna be doing it a lot. And then it'll be a lot cheaper. But in the meantime, if you're just using the little canvas panels, they're super inexpensive and perfect. So I don't worry too much about this because when I glue it, I, on the back when I'm gonna glue it to the wood, it's gonna be, I'm gonna use a lot of glue and it tends to make the canvas shrink and get rid of the wrinkles nice. So now I'm gonna go to the sides and take this down. And this one, looking good. Stretch that one out. There we go there. just to make sure it's sticking good and that's it and now you know I can paint on this and um, it's a nice hard surface and I have a bunch I have a bunch of these around so that I can you know paint whenever I want I even use it for um, here's a I even taped paper onto this this is a, a gouache and pastel experiment that I was doing. So um, there's another surface that you, well, two surfaces actually, you could paint on the masonite. A lot of professional painters paint on this. It's, it's um, very inexpensive masonite and loose canvas. And um, oops, there's the pastel. Pastel never dries. That was just a test, so I'm okay with it, but pastel never dries. That's the difference with pastel. Whereas oil paint will dry, will dry nice and hard. Yeah, that's it. Wanted to paint a little bit bigger today. I'm in the mood for exploring with um, abstracted landscapes. I really like that looseness and freshness. So um, I don't really have an idea in my head. I just want to have fun. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing and, uh, and it's getting my mind all stuck. So painting is a beautiful thing to do to compliment. It's no words, no words. We're just gonna play with color and shapes and have a lot of fun. I hope that you get painting and um, pop into my Facebook group, Irene Duma Teaches Art, have some fun with us. And if you want to start oil painting, I have a free guide at irenedumateachesart.com slash oil guide. Go there, it's got everything you need to um, start painting really soon. And I'm also doing my little soft launch for my intro to oil painting course too. It's on the website too. All right, take care.